Hello there, Intrats. Bob White here, and I got another MTG video for you beautiful mofos today. Today, we're going to go Reanimator. It's been a while. I love playing Reanimator. You guys know it is one of my favorite archetypes, and we finally did it. We finally have the lag, for one, and the cauldron of memes. Shoutouts to my boy, Pageman, for the deck list. I have been trying so long to find a home for the Cauldron of Eternity. And now that it is no longer a 12 mana elk because of Oko's ban, I think it's the right time to bring it out, right? But unfortunately, I just... Because the thing is, this doesn't really fit a regular Demir reanimator list because that variant uh, runs basically Agent of Treachery and Scholar of the Ages as reanimator target. And the rest of the deck is like a bunch of instances and sorceries. So you don't really find enough like creatures to to fill the graveyard to enable you to cast this easily and i i always thought it had to be an undergrowth sort of deck right with molder hulks and a bunch of like self mill effects but even even that deck the problem with that deck specifically is that it felt really weak so page man came up with uh this <laughs> this dank this oh so dank soul tie reanimator variant which of course has neoform of course, has Jerok because he is absolutely obsessed with these cards and just cannot build a deck without them. And I really like the premise of it. I love... Okay, let me tell you exactly what I like about this because this deck is a little bit all over the place and I'm pretty sure it can be optimized, right? But I love Emery. I love Emery in conjunction with Great Henge and Cauldron of Eternity. Emery does really... Her, her effect is amazing for Reanimator and the fact that we can cast Cauldron of Eternity or Great Henge from the graveyard thanks to her is also really good. I also like the Gilded Goose. Gilded Goose with Emery uh, makes it for, so that you can actually play her turn two if you uh, play turn one Goose, which is really nice. Uh, Glow Spore Shaman, Self Mill, very, very key for this sort of deck. Tonebound Lich, outstanding as well to discard the big boy creatures from our hand if they are already there. And then we have a series of one-offs, and this may throw a lot of people off. Like, one Andrei's Forerunners, one Angel of Treachery, one Izoni, one Jerok, one Master Girl, one Vanifar, one Wicked Wolf. Why are our turn four creatures and onwards uh, just a one-off each? Because we're playing Neoform. With Neoform, we can just search for these specifically, and we don't have to, uh, you know... Clock Akbar deck with a bunch of like high end creatures that could mess up our opening hands, right? We have, uh, we even have a one off of Corridor Monitor, <laughs> which could potentially uh, untap uh, Cauldron of Eternity and have us reanimate twice. But the big play here is to get Enray's Forerunners to the graveyard and then Cauldron of Eternity to resurrect it and just win the game. Uh, with uh, Jerok, we actually trigger the likes of the Great Henge twice. And amongst many, many other things. And this deck really goes off. It struggles a little bit at the beginning of the game. But once you get the pieces rolling, uh, it can be just a blast. Uh, it's definitely more of a meme deck for sure. But I just, I haven't had this much fun with a reanimated deck in such a long time. I'm really happy Pageman sent me this deck because I, I had so much fun recording with this. Hopefully you guys enjoy the game as much as I did because this was some fucking fire, man. Uh, I definitely will be looking more into this deck and seeing if there's ways to actually potentially optimize it. There are some cards that I'm a little bit iffy about, but generally speaking, I really like it. I really enjoyed it, and I think you will so too. So I'll stop talking there. Have a soul day. Enjoy the games. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm excited for this. I, I, I always get jittery when I, I get to play a reanimator. It's, it's been a while. It's been a long while. I'm going to keep this. Turn one bird and turn two uh, Tonebound Lich equals progress. This is actually a really solid opener for us. We're going to be able to drop uh, Island into Tonebound Lich. And uh, discard Izoni is uh, my main plan initially. There's the Cauldron. Oh, I really, really would like to highlight this card in this video. No pressure. We're going to play you, though. We're going to discard you. Especially if we are facing some variant of like Simic Flash, then we uh, we definitely benefit from from getting under them so early on. Okay, let's let's attack with uh, Tonebound first to improve our hand, as we're gonna discard one Cauldron here, and uh, we're actually gonna tap this. No, no, we're not, we're not, because we only have one source of green mana anyways. So let's do that, and let's just play another Goose. 
Unfortunately, this Tonebound Lich is going to take a while before, you know, he actually kills our opponent. And by a while, I mean 19 turns, which may seem excessive, but my opponent has uh, played a Paradise Druid there because they seem to have missed a land drop, which is very important because we could capitalize on this if we manage to draw something nice here. Like, it kind of makes me... I mean, Izoni wouldn't have done anything. So I don't regret that. Okay, that's a good draw. Um, let's discard Massacre Girl. And uh, let's go ahead and drop a Fabled Passage onto a Forest. Let's get the Wicked Wolf in there. Now that's pressure. That's the kind of pressure I want to see. I, I have, like, no sympathy for this player. If he's Simic Flash and he's, like, missing out on a land, I, I do not care. I have run into this deck so much trying to play all sorts of fun stuff that revolves around big plays turn 4 and 5 only to just get quenched again and again. And honestly, this archetype, players who play this can all eat one giant dick. For all I care. I'm going to go ahead and attack with you and you. See what we uh, pick up here. I could have played uh, Fabled Passage first. Ooh. 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 Let's go ahead and um, Neo Form. The Wicked Wolf, actually. And we're going to get Page Man's beloved waifu. Jerok is inside, boys. I repeat, Jerok is inside. We're gonna sack this. And uh, we're gonna get in a, another source of. How much do we have of each? We have two green, two blue, one black. We actually need two black. I'm gonna get a swamp in there. And let's go ahead and call that a turn. Ah, uh, main deck. I love seeing that main deck. Uh, main deck, sorry. Main face growth spiral from my opponents. That just... That's just pleasure, man. That's next level pleasure. Let's make a food. I, I want to get this cauldron in. Uh, but we'll see if we can do that. Ooh, Molder Hulk is nice. Let's go ahead and attack with uh, Tonebound Lich and Jirok here. We could witness a, we could experience a, a, a petty theft. That's fine. What I like, what I like about Jerok is that I can, um, I can trade with Nisa's land. I do expect Nisa to go down here now, but if he does, he can't really counter me after that because he has no breeding pool, which makes this cauldron a very, very nice play to go for. Though, don't get me wrong, seeing a Nisa now is not really uh, good news, Bears. It's a strange and magnificent world. The land fights for us. I would have liked to see here. Emery sounds good. Because with Jerok on the board. He has a, a mystical dispute. Oh! 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 Eternity! Oh, we're gonna do this against Civic Flash. Oh, my dick. My dick. Right now. Oh, my God. Oh! With double entry with Jerok? Oh, my God. What is. Oh, oh yes! Die! Die, motherfucker, die! You just die! You just, you have a 3-3 blocker. Oh! oh. 
Oh my god! Oh, that every, that every double, like just filling up my graveyard, that was insane. Like I, I knew I was gonna, you know, start applying pressure, but this is, oh my god, this is beautiful. The first game of my recording. Are you shitting me? I'm gonna lose every game now. <laughs> That's just karma. Oh my god. Oh, I get a Simic Flash. I, I, I came. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I gotta keep it PG, but. I came to the store and and bought candy and it was fantastic. Oh man. Oh my god. I wish every game against Simic Flash could be exactly like that. <laughs> I, I would. All of my sorrows would just wash away. You know. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep this hand because I do have turn two Glow Sport Shaman, which can enable me to. Uh, curve out basically which is really nice and uh, a bunch of millers like this hand is really promising we, we drop a uh, glow spore shaman and uh basically we can do that and put that land on top and that means next turn we can drop emery and we can just proceed to fill up our our gravy like that i'm gonna attack first here nice we play you we emery we mill four which all pretty much happen to be like lands and stuff, but we do have the cauldron in there. This is really nice. The hell? Orzov Locket. I have not seen that in like ever. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the, the Tomebound Lich. And uh, what will I take down? I guess, uh, I guess a Shaman. Yeah, I'll take out a Shaman. I could cast a... I, I, I can't cast like Cauldron. I, I, I definitely need a lot more. So I'm just gonna attack. This is looking promising, unless my opponent just drops a... Um, yeah, something like that. But then again, we could just Molder Hulk here. We could just Molder Hulk. Oh, all right. I'm gonna play uh, Papa Jarek here. My opponent still has a, a pretty sizable hand. All right, Orzhov Enforcer. So I'm gonna make use of, of him not having an answer for this Jirok here, and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in. I think I could use another forest, 100 percent And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play you. What should I prioritize? Emery, definitely Emery. No, I, I can I can do both. But Emery, Emery's the one that uh, really gets me there. Because she fills up the graveyard for that cauldron. Now I can play the Molder Hulk. And I can bring back uh Did I did I No, I, I still have that. So I'm going to bring back the Fabled Passage. And I'm going to bring back the uh the Breeding Pool. I can trigger this. I can search for another source of uh you know, another my last forest and play this. Now, the key thing here is I really... The most important card that needs to survive here is Emery. So, I really hope my opponent... Yeah, that's fine. That's so fine. Oh, my goodness. We're gonna go. We're gonna go off, boys. We're gonna take out the Cauldron of Eternity or, or the Great Henge. No, no, the Cauldron, the Cauldron, the Cauldron. Always the Cauldron. Oh, my God. It's actually happening again. Uh, what do we even resurrect here, dude? Well, I'm gonna drop this. I get to scry twice because of motherfucking Jirok, all right. Let's get rid of that bird as well. And again, I, I could bring out the uh, the wolf. 
I could bring out the wolf. I think the wolf makes the most sense. No, actually, it doesn't. Because it, it fights into that, I guess. It's gonna res you. He has divine visitation, so I, I don't want to attack just yet. Sarah for the scales, all right. We're actually rather low on cards. Okay, so. I'm gonna play the Great Henge. And I'm gonna do this. And now I get to draw twice. <laughs> Oh my god. What if I play Massacre Girl? I could keep Massacre Girl. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh shit. Oh, wait. Do I have the mana? Oh, because of the auto tapper, I don't, right? I, I can't actually... Uh... Oh, because I tapped all of my swamps. I have two swamps here. I, sh I should have I watched out for that. I should have watched out for that. Oh, wait. It's fine. It's fine. Gains uh, death touch, okay. Um, what if I... I actually don't want to attack here, even though an attack could lead to some really nasty stuff. I'd rather just preserve this board and uh, go for the kill next turn with the end raise forerunners. We, we have the setup here. Man, if, if, if I hadn't tapped the way I did, I would have been able to just kill him that turn. I, I have to watch out for that with this deck. Like I, I need to be very mindful of my uh, black mana resources. That's fine. That's so fine. Like he's he's so dead. He, even with lifelink here. Fight, but I will finish it. Even with lifelink, he's so dead. It's crazy. <laughs> what a mess I. He's made. actually so dead, dude. Oh my god, he's so dead. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I can just do this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, game two. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> oh, you're so god. Oh, it is so disgusting, dude. <laughs> Consistency. <laughs> He's doing the math now. <laughs> yeah. You, you barely died, bro. Bur. You barely died. Oh my god. Wow. I, I, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect these results for the video. <laughs> okay, we're 17 minutes in. Oh, fuck yeah. God, this deck is so fun. This deck is really fun. I, I definitely share Page Man's, like, love for Neoform. It's such a cool card. And this is a really cool uh, deck concept. Like, I, I knew that... I, I talked a lot about uh, Cauldron. Uh, and the fact that it, it, it would require more of like an undergrowth sort of strategy to really shine. But I, I never was truly able of like finding the right deck for it.
And, uh, you know, there is the right deck for it. This definitely looks like it. We're going to go ahead and uh, drop the Gilded Goose. Thanks to that. Wow, that, that synergy, though. I, I never realized that um, Goose into Emery. That's really good. Like, now, I, I don't have to ramp. Like, the Goose actually ramps me into Emery. That's, how sweet is that? How cool is that? All right, we do get we do get an agent of treachery in the graveyard though. That's very big. Uh, the idea is next turn we play the tonebound lich and we get going. Just shimmer possibility after shimmer possibility. Uh, because it seems to be Azorius, we don't have to be worried about a turn for board wipe. We're just gonna drop this here for you. And uh, what are we gonna discard? I guess we're just gonna discard a a land at this point. Or an Emery. Let this girl an Emery. We need to fill up our graveyard with creatures anyways. To enable the, the cauldron. We already have an Emery on the board. She is legendary. And uh, next turn we're going to be aiming to... Uh, to Jerok. Though we could very well be looking at a... We could very well be looking at a counter spell here. Um, I, I didn't want to take that. I should have taken a forest. Uh, it's, it's fine. All right, well, let's try to attack first. I'm a little bit concerned about a board wipe, specifically a, a time wipe here. Counter spells can also be rough. So I'm actually going to try to play the Tomebound Lich instead. I'm going to drop the Henge. What could I... What four mana plays do I have here besides Wicked Wolf? We have uh, Vanifar. But unfortunately... That is not something we're looking for. I do want to keep this Neoform right now though. Uh, I have no way to destroy that Wilderness Reclamation, which is uh, definitely problematic. I may regret, but the thing is, I have an Emery on the board, which means I can always cast that, that Great Henge from the graveyard, which is why I did what I did, right? Okay, so he's going for granted. Leyline of Anticipation, alright. Not turned that well for us. I'm going to attack with these three. There's the counter. That's not that he can't time time wipe me. We're kind of stuck here because I, I don't want to overcommit, but we're also navigating around. Uh, we're also navigating around uh, potential counter spells, right? So make things it makes things really awkward for sure. And that that lane line of anticipation with wilderness reclamation, like normally this is just too much, and he just he's just gonna lose like every aggro deck under the sun. But because we're not really an aggro deck, this um. This is definitely threatening for us, because the man can definitely flash anything now. Like, this could be a... No, a time wipe requires two sources of... of uh... Oh, 
Okay. We'll be going for the Granton now. It's a pretty cool deck. Like it, it, it's it's cool to run into something like this. Okay. Still concerned about a time wipe, but okay. I do like that Molder Hulk there. I have Death Touch, so if he wants to block into these, okay. I guess I can trade with those two. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to try to play uh, Molder Hulk here. I'm gonna sack this Fabled Passage. I wanna thin my deck out of more lands. I'm gonna get myself a forest. And I'm gonna try to play the Great Henge. Right, that does get countered, but fortunately for us, with Emery on board, we're going to be able to, to recast that next turn, is the idea. Of course, um, a Granted into like a board wipe or something could definitely happen. Yeah, there's a time wipe. But he can cast that right now because, because of the auto tap. He actually can cast that this turn, which is pretty huge. Which is very, very huge, actually. Cause I'm I'm gonna hope that I can um I can card I'm gonna cast this. Hopefully he doesn't have another counter spell. That would be huge. Yes, nice. That's powerful. Holy shit, this with the Great Henge. I can actually like come close to milling myself though. I have to be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and attack with uh, with these three. Obviously he'll block, he'll chump block one of those, he'll chump block a Tone Bound Lich, but the other one will connect, which will enable me to uh, improve my hand potentially. Because I don't know about Neoform at this stage of the game. If I draw into something else, then I may just discard the Neoform here. Like Emery. I'll just I'll just discard this. Uh time wipe. The thing the thing about time wipe is that it like right now, in order for him to time wipe, he has to like tap this this uh planes twice. Planar cleansing, even if you were to search for it with uh with granted, he would not be able to do it. That's a nice mana dump, but that means he's not going for the time wipe here. That's fine. No time wipe enabled for you, even, even at flash speed. That's so damn fine. I'm going to make a food token here. All right, so we need the cauldron. We need the cauldron. So first of all, the 
problem is I can't have both of these. I think I have to, um... I'm gonna do this. Am I gonna get this a third time in a row? Come on, Orpheus. You ain't got shit. You ain't got shit. You, you can't. You can't even grant it into Root Snare. Ah! <laughs> yes. Easy. Easy. Oh, there we go. Oh, three games in a row. Fuck. I'm gonna end it here. On a good note, three. Oh my god. Maybe this is actually like better than like or more consistent at least I should say than uh, meets the eye at first. That was beautiful. I mean, I faced some very like you know, <laughs> Mimi decks, right? Those were actually some really interesting games. Like I, I obviously winning is nice, but I also got to face some like really unique stuff. That's pretty dope. Like Emery definitely like really shines like I, I don't know if this is the exact distribution like i don't know if this deck actually needs neoform for example but uh goose into emery with tomebound lich and uh then you know end raise forerunners with great henge and cauldron of eternity like this is there's something in this like this has potential i'm definitely going to be playing this deck more in the near future like i'll probably try to record a, a live with it later down the line as well because i really liked it uh, shout out to Page Man. Uh, hopefully, I, I can also attempt to make this uh, viable for best of three as well. But this was some of the most fun I've had in a while. I really like this deck. This is this is my kind of shit, dude. This is this is everything that I like about Magic. This is great. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the games. Uh, leave a like for Pig God himself, and for some Cauldron action as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow.